Here we have a Farfisa Transavox accordion. Uh, there's an acoustic accordion hiding inside. Lots of buttons on the front to deal with. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun demo, that's for sure. So what I did immediately, I was playing on some of the electronics. I hit this treble cancel button right here. So we gotta just turn that guy right off. And then on the back side here, I have a little volume wheel. So I'm gonna turn off the bass by lowering my volume. So now I got nothing and nothing and nothing because I'm not moving the bellows. So what we're gonna start with is our acoustic accordion. So let's open it up and we got some uh, switches right here. Pretty standard for an acoustic accordion. This is a 41 key, F to A, 41 keys, 120 basses. And we do have some uh, accordion switches back here. So you got three switches in the bass and you have two, four, six, eight switches in the treble here. So you got 41 keys and eight switches. Now it is only a three read though. So if we go and start here on the bottom switch, we got our clarinet. Uh, we got our bassoon. We got our bandonian, both of those together. This is our master switch. Our violin switch. And then here, this is actually a double of this clarinet. So then we, again, we begin clarinet. And then the bassoon again, double of this switch. And then down here, we actually have a mute, which makes sense because sometimes you want to have just the electronics playing and sometimes you want to have them play together. So we got plenty of switches here and it's actually a nice sound in LMM. I like it very much. Um, on the left-hand side, we have all the 41, um, excuse me, 120 basses here. That's kind of the tenor switch down the bottom here. And then here we have. That's kind of a, a bass tenor. And then here we have the big deep one comes in. So we got a good three, good three set of sounds from the acoustic and a good, uh, good set of sounds from the, from the uh, treble side as well. Let's play a little song on the acoustic and see what it sounds like here. Let's see, how about we start with, uh, with this guy. It's on bassoon, let's give it a little bit of that. So a couple different good switches on there. Nice acoustic sounding accordion. I like the acoustic sound on this accordion. All right, and if we were to leave from that or leave it on, uh, we can play both at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and play just the electronics to give you a sense of it. I'm turning everything off, everything off, and then I turn the treble cancel on. Still have no sound because there's no nothing on here. So let's begin down here on our clarinet 16, 16 foot tube. And then all these are singular, so and then here's the eight. Here's the strings eight. And then of course you can put all three of those things together. So you got lots of combinations to work with here. And that's just the green guys, let's get rid of them. Let's get rid of them so we can work on these white ones. And then here we have the flute switches, the low flute, the middle flute. And then I'm just kind of adding them in as I go. You can see you can get lots of different textures out of this guy. And then let's get rid of all the flutes. Back to nothing. And then let's see what this guy does. And that's the percussion, eight foot percussion. You can see there's the four foot. And then until it goes. And you get them all. 
And of course you would want to use that percussion in conjunction with something like this. You get a really nice sound. This is everything. So you can see it's a little bit short. Let's put on percussion longer. And you get a little bit longer. And you also have a repeater switch after that. There's the repeater off and repeater on. So lots of cool ways to make sound even on this first row here. And if we get rid of some of those so that we can go up here, this is a little bit of a cool feature. This is our wah-wah here and we have eight. And the 16. And here's both. And then you even have a little knob over here to control the wah and how quick it attacks. Kind of gives you an extra sharpness or the mellow. So you can see here I have a sustain on and off button and once you hit that sustain you just get a little bit of follow there. And it sounds real good getting that in. You can turn it off and get your short short notes back. As we move on up here we're gonna play the vibrato switch here. If we turn that you can see there's no vibrato at all. I've turned off my sustain chords. If I flip on my vibrato we get a little bit of this. And I can even choose whether I want that slow or fast. So definitely meant to emulate the B3 organ sounds there. So you could even you could even get a little bit and then switch it on for the solo section. And then bring it back off for your long holds. And then here we have some of the bass stuff happening. You can hear no percussion there. Got my bass percussion on. Sounds like a good thick bass drum on the bottom. So we'll leave that on and then we have some bass sustain. You can hear it's got a little bit of the hang there. And then same thing chords and a little bit of chord sustain. Just gives it kind of like a rounded reverby sound. Like we're in a room. Instead of the, uh, here's the opposite, nice staccato. And then this is that treble cancel button that we talked about in the first place. If I turn that, I get no, no treble at all. Pretty cool instrument indeed. We do have one knob left down here. This one is, uh, we have vibrato here, and then we have sustain, and this is telling the pedal which, uh, which device it, it would like to interact with. And speaking of the pedal, so here we have the vibrato, we have the sustain, and, and we have all the different functions that the pedal can control, is, is controlled right here with your hand, and then you have a pedal down here. Speaking of that, you can see there's also a chord right next to me here. This chord actually runs out to this box I have to my right. So you have the chord that goes to the accordion to this box over here this is your power center um, this is this chord runs out to the power um, to the outlet on the wall this chord runs to your accordion and then you do have the quarter inch chord to go to your amplifier and then you also have the chord to go to your foot pedal which is on the ground here and this foot pedal happens to have an up and down for the uh, volume dynamics and it also has an adjustment on the right hand side which is what this knob is controlling so you can even have some adjustment on the pedal as you you can kill the volume with just the pedal if you'd like, which is a nice feature. As we move to the left-hand side, we do have a couple of variations. So we do have a bunch of good variations there on the left-hand too, even for the electronic sound. So uh, I'll play a song on the electronics and 
see if I can give you a sense of what this thing can do. Too many teardrops for one heart to be crying. Too many teardrops for one heart to carry on. You're way on time now. Always laughing. Oh no. Make fun all the bio. 